this is Union and Marshall where Memphis Recording Services and I'm going to go down for another uh, location I've never stopped at uh, on previous trips to Memphis just to tell another just to visit the location of a something, something else that played a small part in the life of Elvis and it's literally from here a couple of hundred yards down Union on the left there. So July 54 was a phenomenal month for the young Elvis Presley, especially the Mondays it seemed. It's uh, Monday, July 5th he recorded that, so I, that was his first, what was to be his first single. The following Monday 12th of July he signed his first management contract making Scotty Moore's manager, the guitarist, Scotty Moore. The following Monday, the 19th, the first single was released, That's Alright, back to the Blue Moon of Kentucky on the Sun, on the Sun label, Sun 209. And the following week, 26th of July again, Monday, Elvis signed a contract with Sun Records. The very next day, Tuesday 27th of July, Elvis reported to the Memphis Recording Service Studios where he met Marion Keiska where they had an appointment with the Memphis Press Scimitar local newspaper which would be Elvis's first first interview, first article in a newspaper as a professional singer. That interview took place just across the road there where the commercial and the Memphis Press Scimitar newspapers were printed. So this is uh, the Commercial Appeal buildings. I think they've moved from here now actually, recent, very recently or they are very uh, due to move imminently. But of course this is a different building to the one Elvis would have come in and back in 1954, both Memphis newspapers, the Commercial and the Afternoon Daily, the Memphis Press Scimitar, were printed from out of a building that stood here. And it was the Memphis Press Scimitar that Elvis's first interview was to be with, and that uh, afternoon, uh, lunchtime of Tuesday, 27th of July 1954, the Lagrange and Memphis Railroad organised in 1835. The railroad operated the first train from Memphis four and a half miles on March 29th, 1842 on the present roadbed of the Southern Railway. The depot, which was destroyed by fire February 1st, 1853, was located here. Now the railway, actually, you can see the rail lines actually went through there because um, when uh, the old newspaper building was still here, the trains actually pulled directly into the building with the news uh, with the news reels so the track would have come well it would have gone over there but uh, the tracks came across here and alongside this alongside the building here the tracks would have continued over there straight straight down there and the building that the uh, Elvis entered uh, for that interview on that day came out onto the road here it was a five-story building the actual offices of the of the newspapers they came out uh, lengthwise on onto the edge of the road here and it was actually up on the fifth floor that Elvis and Marion Keiska sat for their interview and Elvis then went downstairs and was photographed it's not 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 the most uh, not the coolest photo ever of Elvis who so is sitting there in his uh, in a dicky bow tie but still at uh, that was his first should we say posed photograph of a professional singer named Elvis Presley and that took place here in a spin Elvis Presley can be forgiven for going round and round in more ways than one these days a 19 year old Humes High graduate he has just signed a recording contract with Sun Record Company of Memphis and already has a desk out 
The promise is to be the biggest hit the sun has ever pressed. So it goes on to give a little uh, overview of uh, his very brief career up to that point. And it carries on. Just now reaching dealers shelves, the record is getting an amazing number of plays on all Memphis radio stations. The odd thing about it, says Marion Keisker of the Sun office, is that both sides seem to be equally popular on popular folk and race record programmes. This boy is something that seems to appeal to everybody. We've just gotten the sample records out to the disc jockeys and distributors in other cities, she said. But we've got big orders yesterday from Dallas and Atlanta. Sun started by Sam Phillips, former WREC engineer, several years ago as 40 distributors from coast to coast, so there's a good chance of a big national sale. Elvis, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vernon Presley, 462 Alabama, is a truck driver for Crown Electric Company. He has been singing and playing the guitar since he was about 13, just picked it up himself. The home folks who have been hearing him on record so often during the past few weeks can see Elvis in person when he's presented by disc jockey Bob Neal in a hillbilly show at Overton Park Shell Friday night along with vet veteran, veteran entertainers from the Louisiana Hayride. So Elvis's first interview seems to be more an interview with Marion Keisker than uh, Elvis. It appears he didn't actually contribute anything to the interview apart from going, going downstairs in the, the building and having his photo taken. So as I said, uh, following his first uh, first interview as a professional singer on the Tuesday, on Friday, he would make his first professional appearance as a professional singer at the Overton Park Shell for the Jamboree. So that rounded off a very eventful July 1954 for Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm.